Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be working on our toe tap. So what you're doing in a toe tap is taking your toes and tapping your wrist or tapping your forearm. It's a really great way in order to teach the body what it's like to compress and lift and beginning to find that inner strength for your pressing. All right, so you may wanna have two blocks handy and even more specifically like a really sturdy block like a cork block. Those just seem to work a little bit better for me. They don't wanna roll away like a foam block may. But if you don't have them, you don't have to use them and we can make it work without it. So the first thing that I would have you do is come into downward facing dog, that standard position, hands and feet, hips and shoulders width. And from here, I really want you scooping out the low belly, get that hollowed shape, push the floor away. That pushing is super important when it comes to pressing and when it comes to toe taps. Let's lift the left leg high, I want you to flex the foot, so point the toes towards the body, and as you shift forward, looking towards the fingers, keep that left leg straight. See if you can tap your left wrist or your left forearm. Inhale, lift it up again. Let's do two more on that left side. Inhale, look forward, getting as high as you're able, and lifting it back up. One more time on the left. Shift, pull that leg in deep, tap and rise back up let's switch sides left foot down and it's the right foot's turn left right right leg reaches high draw that femur bone deep into its hip socket as you draw it forward tap and raise let's shift forward push 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 the floor away pull that femur bone in deeply tap and lift one more time glancing up Pulling the belly in, tap, and lift. Now, if that's hard for you to get the legs straight through, you can kind of um, find a similar type thing by swinging the leg out to the side and tapping. And if that's what you have to do in the beginning, then perfect work where you are. All right, so after we've done those down dog taps, this is what I'd like for you to have your bricks, your cork blocks ready. And what we're gonna do here, get them spaced the same as your shoulders, bring your hands onto the blocks, kind of gripping over that front edge. And then I want you to walk your feet up the block so that the balls of your toes are on your blocks. Now you're going to be gripping these blocks, pushing down so that you really get that strength through the shoulders. And as you push, I want you to lift your hips up high, grip the block with your toes and push and lower the heels back down. So this is why it's nice to have cork rather than foam. But you could use foam, maybe it'll work. All right, here we go again. Grip the block, push it down, push out of the shoulders, lift the hips high, feel that compression as you draw the belly in, and lowering back down. Let's do that maybe three more times, making it five. Get the balls of the toes on there nice and good. Shift forward, compress. Push, push, push with the shoulders. Lower the heels back down. Exhaling as you really find that deep compression. Pull the low belly in. Legs are really active, guys. Lower the heels down. Last one. And lowering back down. Very nice. Whew. Alrighty. Kind of stretch out the wrists. Give them a little bit of a reprieve. All right, let's try another form of toe taps. This time we're just gonna be walking up our mat. Just your hands and feet, that's all that's needed. Bring your hands, oh, about a foot ahead of your feet. And all you're gonna do is as you look forward, lift one foot at a time, tap, lower it down. Other foot, lower it down. Hands about a foot, lift those hips, find that compression as the belly pulls in. Other side and lower, all the way to the top of your mat. Not only teaching you to get the hips really, really high as you shift them right over the shoulders, also teaching you to pull the femur bone deeply into its hip socket, getting that compression, getting the strength through the abs as you pull them in deeply. Now you can also go backwards, which is a bit more challenging. So if you wanna play with that, feel free. And then let's also do it with both feet 
at the same time and see how that feels. What's most important here is that you keep pushing out of the shoulders. If you just got the hands down and you're not finding that deep pressure, that deep push, it's not going to flow. All right, so let's bring the hands just ahead of the feet. As you suck the low belly in, bring the weight into the heel of the hand. Push, tap, and lower. Just little tiny little floats up. Now, if you're thinking, Kelsey, my toes ain't floating up. Believe me, <laughs> mine did not either. Not for the first few years even. So when I first began, this is more what it looked like. I bring my hands in front of my feet. My teacher told me to float my feet up and I had to bend the knees and jump. And bend the knees and jump. It was more of a hop than it was a float, but this takes time and consistency and practice. It's something that your body really has to learn from repeatedly doing and doing. So don't give up if after even a month or two of trying this and you're like, I'm not getting it. That's okay, you have to keep showing up, train these muscles, teach them what to do. So let's do it together. Start at the back of your mat so you have a lot of length. Hands are as you would have them for a handstand. Shoulders width, press into the base of the hand. As you shift forward, shoulders come over the wrists. Pull the belly in, float the feet up. Now if you actually wanna tap the wrist, that's fine or you can just bring them right between the hands. Think of pulling the femur bones up and in. All right, there we go. So that's how you will do it. If you are going to go with just your hands and your feet forward and backward on your mat. All right, so one more thing that we can do. If you're still not quite getting it, another drill. You can start with standing on your block. This you could probably do with foam. I always like court because it doesn't roll away on you. Bring your hands down. Now what's nice is if you can get that full forward fold, the hamstrings nice and open. You really gotta have some open hamstrings for pressing. So lots of forward folds first. Bring your hands down. Now this already has your hips very, very high, so it can feel a little spooky. Strong arms, strong shoulders. And just bring one foot forward, tap the wrist. Now this isn't as quite much work, but it definitely will teach you to bring the weight into the shoulders, teaching you that shift forward. And you can also just let yourself float through. So hands down, hips up, and just let the feet come down. Do that a few times. Make sure that your hands are fur enough forward that you don't roll or kind of do one of those like, ah, you know, <laughs> where you just kind of biff it. So you need your hands far enough forward that you can bring the weight into them solidly. Shift that weight forward, resist gravity, go slow, let the feet float down. One more time, let's do that. Looking down between the thumbs, low belly pulls in, femurs root into their hip sockets, hip sockets. And here we go, one more float, slow, 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 resist. And down we go. Okay, so those are your toe taps. You can start increment them into your handstand practice. Maybe as you go to jump up the handstand, hit that toe tap, then float the toes up. It's worth a try. Let's see if I can demonstrate. You can definitely incorporate that into your chaturangas. Toe taps definitely help build strength. So start incrementing these, you know what I'm trying to say, into your practice a couple of times a week and really watch how your strength is going to improve. All right, so here we go. Let's do a toe tap before we press up. Bring that weight into the hands. Lift, tap. And always working. Slow on the way down. Tap. I promise you, when I first started working toe taps, they seemed completely impossible. And I was thinking, I don't know why I'm doing these. It's not working but they do work with time and consistency and that desire, you'll get them too. So keep coming to your mat, work your hardest and you'll get it too. Tag me on Instagram if you're working it guys. I wanna cheer for you. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up so you can practice those toe taps again and again. Share it with your friends. I really appreciate it guys. Take care, namaste.